I have news to share with you. Uh, I really don't want to share it. I, f I feel terrible. Uh, this year has been a rough one, but uh, this is the path that I chose, so I think it's best to be transparent. For Creator Clash 2, you know, despite it being a fun event and despite good fights and a lot of creators sacrificing a lot of time, uh, money, and energy, uh, we lost no $250,000 on the event. The way that this typically works for anyone who's uh, unaware is that once our expenses are paid off for the event, like all the minimums of like, you know, broadcasting, the hotel, travel, all that sort of stuff, once that's all paid that's off, insane. then we can start paying uh, the charities. Unfortunately, we didn't even reach the break even point, right? We're $250,000 in the red. I foolishly thought that the success of last year would, should be a minimum, you know, a minimum for what we are able to do this year. And that wasn't true. There was a lot more to think about. I thought, okay, you know, we're, we're bringing on more talent, we're bringing on more creators. That should translate to more pay-per-view buys. We're inviting more creator. Him making it pay-per-view and not allowing clips is lame as hell, in my opinion. What do you mean, dude? How is he supposed to? It's for charity, should, dog. You should do the event for free. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I agree. I think, I, I, I hate uh, uh, paywalls myself, but like, how is the fucking, how are they supposed to raise any money for charities, brother? He could have done, what was that old YouTube channel, um, Bum Fights? What was it? Oh yeah, backyard uh, Back backyard bomb fights or yeah. backyard wrestling. Yeah, backyard there, there's brawling. no there's no overheads there. You could have just done that and had it free for yeah, exploited poor people. I think that should translate to more pay per view buys. This is our second time doing the event, so more people are going to know about it. So I thought that would translate to pay per view buys. But we did half as well as we did the first year, fifty thousand compared to a hundred thousand the first year. So I it was wrong. And I feel a lot of shame because a lot of people were trusting me and trusting our team to, you know, protect the event and protect the charities and protect just the whole thing. It feels particularly bad because this isn't like a regular business where it's all a personal loss and I can just be like, oh, okay, I suck at business and I walk away from it. All of the other fighters were you know, hoping that their charities got represented and got supported for all their hard work. But we didn't have any anti-piracy measures. We weren't prepared to deal with uh, what ended up happening. I mean, I was, for me, I was just thinking like, let's just avoid catastrophe. As long as there's like, not like, um, I don't know, like a bomb threat or like injuries or anything crazy, like we should be fine. This should just be like the first year. I don't want it to be more complicated than the first year. Uh, it ended up being a lot more complicated. Amongst the 800 pirated uh, streaming sites, there were between 1.3 and 3 million viewers. So even though there were around 50,000 uh, pay-per-view buys, there were around 1.3 to 3 million viewers, people who actually watched the full broadcast. And that's... A little bit reassuring, you know, it, it makes me feel like, okay, people maybe do want to watch this. They just didn't, you know, they just either couldn't afford it or just didn't want to support uh, what I had going on. If it's one or two steps to pirate it, but it's three or four steps to stream it legitimately, people are going to take the pirating option every time. I think we also had a big streamer audience. I wonder if like the pay-per-view originally uh in the in the first flight i wonder what those numbers look like like i wonder what it is yeah, that's who we are appealing to i really like the <laughs> i love people being like wow dude <laughs> i can't believe he's just like fucking blaming pirates bro it's charity man like what do you guys think you, th you think it's like fucking free it's like a massive production that they put together but also he's being like super transparent in this yeah video. which is always yeah. a bad idea on the internet you know what i mean the live stream audience you know, people who want to watch these events live and they watch you should have on Twitch out and YouTube and they get it all for free generally. So I think it was um, in a lot of ways bad to appeal to that crowd and not give away the stream for free. 
Uh, I think a lot of them felt like, well, this should be something that's free. Uh, especially if you have ads in it. Aside from the pirating, we did have higher expenses this year. It was a bigger arena. We went to the Amelie Arena, so it was twice as big. We paid more for broadcasting. So broadcasting team did a lot more elaborate shit, and there was a lot more staff involved. We did a creator hotel. So we bought out a hotel to make sure all the creators had a, you know, a safe place that they can stay. It actually ended up being good you actually should have made it cheaper. It was like $50 for the day of. Make it $10 and way more people will buy it. Don't charge $50 for a stream then. Dude, I love when 36 business month advice. subscribers are giving business advice to this dude who's already run a successful charity event. <laughs> dude, it's the second year in a row. Dude, yeah. like the amount of infrastructural hurdles that you need to clear to get like, you know, hundreds of fucking content creators from all around the world to get to one area. And also like he was... And, and produce it while also simultaneously fighting in it yeah. yourself. That's insane. Like, even thinking about, even trying to think about it from your perspective would literally melt your brain, okay? It would cause your brain to fucking short circuit. How can anyone else watching this relate to being down 250K? UFC PPV is at least $50. Why are people so fucking aggro about this? I, I don't actually understand. It's like shocking. It's shocking. It's not shocking to see people be aggro about Ian um, uh, online because there's a lot of shitheads who are like fallen fans of his or whatever. Mm -hmm. But it's shocking to see it in this community where they're like, dude, it's really fucked up. 2008 did happen. We lost our houses. Oh, that was when I said that the GFC never happened. Oh. No, I got nobody was talking about. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> that we got the Creator Hotel because all the hotels shot up in price uh, like a couple weeks after we locked in the Creator Hotel because Taylor Swift was coming to town. She announced her tour dates. Oh, true. And pretty much everything got booked up. If we didn't book the Creator Hotel when we did, I don't think we would have had nearly as many creators show up to show support and our, our pay-per-view numbers actually could have been hurt by that. We also had events uh, the day before the fight and the day after the fight so that, you know, fighters and friends and family could come together and... Why not make it like eBay? You sponsor the cover cause and sell tickets for charity? Um, well, they just have a shitter event. Like, obviously, like, they need that money to make the spectacle that they made. Also, just you know, they might not have access to the same fucking sponsorships. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I buy got fucking 3.4 million views, dog. I don't know why people... I don't know why people say this kind of stuff. Like, this is his... Li he had his limitations, and he was working with uh, within his limitations, and it failed. And he's, like, openly talking about how it failed. You know? I don't know why people are just like, well, what about Ebuy, a completely different content creator who was, like... Literally one of the most famous people in his country. Like, you know what I mean? Why is this guy who's doing another PPV boxing event uh, in, a, in a sea of, like, pay-per-view boxing events that he's doing it for charity? Why did that guy not do something entirely different? I don't think it's out of place of hate. People are just curious. Uh, process their trauma. That was sort of paramount for me because the first year we did the fight and then I went to bed. I got the shit kicked out of me by Dr. Mike and then I went to bed and then I woke up, the hotel was empty and then I got on a flight uh, and traveled five hours with my face completely swollen uh, back to Seattle. And I was like, that was cool. That was so worth it. I the Swift concert was a real pain if you weren't going to it. Yeah, I, I, I was staying right next to the fucking concert. It was awful. It just, like, shut off traffic entirely. It was insane. I, I, there was nothing. There was no processing my trauma. There was no talking to anyone. In Did the Elon, in my opinion, paywall something people expect for free? What? It wasn't free last year. Like, what? What are you where talking? Where expectation come from? Where, yeah, I, I don't even understand where the fuck this expectation is coming from. It wasn't free last year. People have been paying pay-per-view for boxing events since the beginning of fucking time. Like, I, I, what? It was never like, oh, guys, we're just going to charge last second for this, uh, for this thing. Like, you, what? I 
I mean, it's one thing having a small person producing something for charity, but also the price is somewhat professional level fighting stream cost is for charity. It would have made more money if it was a more realistic price. Like there is, there's never been, um, there's never, I don't think there's ever been in like an influencer boxing event that wasn't pay-per-view. Uh -huh. Has there? The difference is people pay to watch Mike Tyson and Floyd Money Mayweather, not Hundar or Myth. I mean, people don't though, is the thing as well. <laughs> like, the what? Brother, they're not expecting to rake in UFC or fucking uh, professional boxing revenues. You, you understand that, right? Like, what are you talking about? Also, those have a fuckload more sponsorships because these are legitimate brands and not like fucking a YouTuber, okay? What is happening? Is my, is my community full of like professional event coordinators? Like what's happening right now? Everyone's like, dude, I've been running the UFC for 35 <laughs> years. Like uh, I would have done this differently. Like... The show needed more razzle dazzle, more old Hollywood. <laughs> I think he's joking. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Relating about the experience afterward, everyone was gone. And that shit felt awful. So, yeah, some of these things that might seem extraneous, uh, in my opinion, were entirely necessary. And I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't change it for the world. Uh, I also, I mean, as evidenced by the... Uh, by the pay-per-view streams, uh, it wouldn't have made a difference uh, because we did half as many pay-per-view sales. So we also had to pay for more fighters this year. Uh, the first year it was 18. This year it was 24. I thought bringing in more fighters would just lead to more pay-per-view buys, um, but I think it just ended up costing us more, you know, because each fighter gets a $20,000 stipend. And for anyone, like, confused about this or... Uh, yeah, it was, uh, early pricing was $20 and then advanced purchase was $25 and day of show was $35. It wasn't even $50. I don't know where you guys got the $50 from. If all the people making suggestions paid the watch last year, we wouldn't be seeing this video right now. Yeah. Just gonna say, do people have no idea how hard it is to book a goddamn arena for an event? I work for the company that sponsored that same stadium, and it took me seven months of work just to get an event scheduled there. People just need to like listen and not think they know everything. Yeah, one hundred percent. I don't think people understand uh, how how fucking how ridiculous this is. Like you're talking about a almost professional level production. Oh, you know, nuts. like there's there's operators. There's so much. Um, and Ludwig and Cutie have made events free to stream and always have incurred a loss despite big sponsorships, right? No, that's not true. Okay. That's ridiculous. Like, uh, I don't want to speak for anyone else, but there are very, there are big differences between how you're doing it. And also, even then when they incur a loss is usually not out of pocket. Okay. Cutie has sponsorships, subscription revenue that comes from it. Cutie is not, uh, I mean, Cutie might actually run it at a loss, but look, I don't want to speak on it a little bit further, but with, with, with respect to Ludwig, like, and I can speak from my own personal experience, when I have contracts with companies, okay, they oftentimes will not, they will oftentimes present a flat fee for you, okay, but that flea, that flea, that flat fee will also incorporate production costs for big events and big ticket shit that you're doing, okay? So, you're, you're wrong on that. But why would I pay to watch something I don't want to watch? Law? Wait, don't watch it. Nobody's asking you to watch. Man, shut the fuck up, idiot. Oh, my God, you're so stupid. Like Everyone should pay to watch this. Like, I never said person. fucking watch the event, you dumb fuck. Jesus Christ, dude. Yikes. I hate my fucking long-term community members who are just like so stupid sometimes. Like I'm I feel like I'm 
Like, who said you have to watch it at gunpoint, you fucking idiot? Are you saying pirating is bad? No, of course not. I'm not. I love pirating. I love piracy. I'm a big fan of piracy, which is part of the reason why a lot of these uh, idiots in my fucking community are just, like, losing their minds. But that doesn't change the reality that, like, charity is good. You know what I mean? This isn't, like, this isn't for, like, a regular situation. I'm not telling you not to fucking pirate the UFC fights. This is not for people's uh, pockets to be lined up. This is just <laughs> the, the pockets of big charity, I guess. <laughs> big Alzheimer's. It's so stupid. It's, whoa, what the fuck? It's fine. The autofocus fucked up. Oh. Yeah. Arg, even pirates don't steal from charity. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love coming home from work and having Hassan call me an idiot. Well, first of all, I don't know who the fuck you are. And I've never talked to you or at you or of you or about funny. you. Why are you taking this personally? I banned, or not banned, but gave a seven-day timeout to a chatter who also thought I was talking directly to him and telling him st stuff like, you have to watch this charity stream at gunpoint. Literally have to do that. If you don't do that, I'll come to your house and I'll beat you up. That's what he thought I was doing. Okay. Bro, you just called chat idiots Lamau. Oh my god. This is the actual worst part about streaming on Twitch is that like pretty much everyone after a long enough timeline, like a lot of people, a lot of people unless you like hyper specify or even when you hyper specify your directed lines of attack will take it personally because in their minds they think I'm in their living room talking to them directly. I am not talking to you directly in your living room. I'm talking to everyone now, okay? Stop thinking that I'm in your living room talking to you directly. I don't know who you are when I'm specifically calling out one singular chatter or a bunch of other chatters that are behaving in a similar fashion. You don't have to take it personally. What you can do is assume that I'm talking about that chatter. Holy fuck. One thing that makes the chat insufferable is when people say anything anti-piracy. In this case, being anti-piracy is totally understandable, but they can't help themselves. Remember when Fearan was announced that it would be under a paywall for the second hour? Chat wouldn't shut the fuck up? Yeah, I know. It's, it's fucking unimaginable. Why do you always pretend to be a social? <laughs> shut up, fucking asshole. Don't meme right now. Anyway. Dog is... Oh! <laughs> Kaya! Off! Get down! Get down! Kaya! Get down! Sit! Bro, she slept the whole... condition! She slept the whole morning, and now she's like... Now she woke up, and she's acting brand new, dude. Ugh... <sighs> Anyway, we're talking about the monetization strategies of an event for charity and chatter said, why would I pay for something? I don't want to watch as if that was the conversation that was being had like no shit chatter. You were being an idiot. Thank you. Exactly. Holy fuck. There's at least some sane people in the chat. Jesus Christ. Who recognized that that was insane of that person to say. Thought everyone was fighting for free. They pretty much are fighting for free. I think any of the fighters can attest to the rope. fact that. Uh, fighting in Creator rope, Clash rope. is not a financial boon no, no, in rope, any way. The, the pull, that $20,000 so is eaten her. up yeah. in those nine months that you're training. I would say that $20,000 is activities. on the low end of what it should cost you hey. to train in those nine months. Because uh, you have to pay for your uh, trainer yourself, and you have to pay for you know all of the, the food, the equipment, uh, the travel, whatever you're doing to make all this shit happen. Uh, you know, aside from putting your streaming career or your YouTube career or TikTok on hold while you're training, you know, it's not uh, a huge reward 
So I don't want anyone to think just because these fighters are getting $20,000 to basically like just be a little bit less in pain after going through all this torment and trauma. Uh, I don't want anyone to get... Oh, it effed. It effed. It's effing again. What the fuck? Good stream. I, I don't know why. It's like, it's like effing and then coming back. So hold on. Hold on. We're back. I don't know why that happened. It happens sometimes. Okay, calm down. Calm down, chat. It doesn't even register on my fucking bitrate on, on, on Twitch. It's just happening here for a brief moment. We're back, but it's coming choppy. It's fine. It's going to be fine. Um, I got rate limited. Are we going to look at the figurines? Yes. I love coming home from work and a song calls me sane. Yeah, I love that too. She she wants to fucking play because she's bored, but when I when I try to play with her, she's laying on the ground because she's too fucking tired to even do tug of war. By the way, she's currently look. She's not even going for it. Come on, get it. Oh my god, get it, get it, get it. She doesn't even want to get it. She's literally laying down. I think she's going to run away. Come on, she's moving away. Don't let her leave. Got it. Kaya, come here. Come on. Kaya. She just wants attention. She's not even, she, she's just being like, She's not even, like, uh, energetic right now. She just wants fucking attention. Maybe she wants to pee? No, I already, uh, I already got her to pee, like, recently. It's shit for that because... Hold on, here, I'll run this back. It's not uh, a huge reward. So I don't want anyone to think just because these fighters are getting $20,000 to basically, like, just be a little bit less in pain after going through all this torment and trauma. Uh, I don't want anyone to get shit for that because that is a minimum of what these fighters should be getting in my opinion they should be getting much more because it is a traumatizing event and it takes a lot of time and dedication that is a cost of putting on the event in my opinion uh i think other boxing promotions would like disagree uh that you know fighters should be getting paid uh this amount but yeah they pay much better you know, than, to, to each than their other. own uh, what do I know? Promoters. I, you know, oh, we lost two hundred fifty thousand dollars yeah, on this event. Yeah. Another they thing try I want to, like, to address um, is there are some people floating uh, rumors fuck around with creators that we're by, like, offering less, and then being like, "Oh, but if you get find your own sponsors and like sew a bunch of patches on your short make up for it, that's uh, crazy. Yeah, that's fucked up. Like Creator Clash does, you know, more like sensible like cares for their fighters." Guys, is Abi and the Sirta Sirba Devishirum will be Zibu Dava? I mean, Dang, are you are you uh putting uh the the Serb next to you through the Janissary system? We want more successful uh we want more successful international uh content creators. Uh make put him through the Janissary system so he'll be Turkish. That's what he said. That's the fucking oh, you're, you're like what, like two years older than me? You I'm I'm about to be th I'm about to be 32. Yeah. How old are you? About to be 31. Okay, so one I'm not year, two years older. Year. I'm one year older. I feel me. like you have to be considerably older to yeah. uh, to have a to have that spussy. <laughs> yeah. Getting money from Creator okay. Clash, and it, that's extremely hurtful because it has been nothing but the opposite. I understand that some people out there don't like me. I'm okay with that, but the the thing I'm not okay with is just lying to people and making up shit for the sake of like clicks. I mean, this is hard enough as it is. Like, I don't want to make this video telling people that we made half as much uh, or we sold half as many pay-per-views as we did last year. And what I absolutely don't need is people spreading rumors about us pocketing money. Uh, this has been a financial fucking catastrophe for me. We don't need that. 
and we don't need any of that shit for any of our other fighters because they this has been a huge sacrifice for all of them financially specifically financially if you want to say that they're they're earning boatloads of clout for fighting sure whatever you want to say but this has been a huge sacrifice i try not to view any of the pirated live streams as malicious because i think the majority of people you know aren't malicious about it i think there were 50,000 people out of a million plus who just said creator clash live stream and like instantly a bunch of shit popped up and it was just very easy for them to watch and uh i i really don't blame them for making that choice uh all i'm trying to do right now uh, in making this video is to remedy it. Uh, that's sort of what I've been grappling with over the past couple of months is like, what the hell are we gonna do? Getting so much. You know, I can't even think about doing a Creator Clash 3. We lost money and there's no money for charity. So what are we gonna do to solve that? I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't have a good solution. The best solution that I've been able to come up with is uh, putting the full Creator Clash broadcast, Creator Clash 2 broadcast, on YouTube for free for everyone to watch and uh, just hoping and praying that people enjoy it and want to support it. I'm curious what your guys' thoughts are, but I want to post the full broadcast on YouTube and I want to have like a fundraising goal. I know YouTube has like a fundraising thing, uh, but right now uh, from what I've seen, YouTube doesn't allow multiple charities to be listed in the fundraiser. And there's not really very many good options for us to collect donations ourselves. So I think we're just going to have to have a singular charity represent, uh, represented in the video. And then we'll put all the other charities in the description. So if you want to donate to a specific charity, that's where you can do it. I want to make it right. I want to make it more right. I'm okay with us fucking up and taking a $250,000 loss. I'm not okay with charities not getting any money. I want to thank all the fighters and all the coaches and all the staff of the event and the fans who, you know, came to show support. Uh, it, it might feel like a big loss, but it was a lot of entertainment and, you know, a lot of good came out of it. A lot of people had unforgettable experiences and it will be a highlight of their lives. There's a lot of boxing events where no money goes to charity at all. Uh, ever. There's not even the, the chance that it goes to... Ollie versus Frazier was on regular TV. What happened to that? <laughs> At a time when there was like three TV channels. <laughs> and he goes, the fighters should get the most money. They're the ones risking everything. You're right, dude. Fuck charity. Fuck the fighters who just decided to... <laughs> who just decided to fucking fight for charity. You know what I mean? Fuck that. But also, these guys are paying fighters more. Technically, yeah. I guess in comparison to, to other... Emotional events. Yeah. Pay per view list. Look at the KSI versus Logan Paul fight. Holy. Sales or revenue? Holy fuck. The KSI Logan Paul fight got 2 million in sales. Doesn't even show the revenue estimation. That's crazy. And the KSI Logan Paul fight, the first one got 1.3 million sales and did 16.5 million in revenue. That's wild. I don't get it. I thought it wasn't these guys aren't elite. Who would pay who would pay for their fucking pay-per-view chat? KSI and Logan Paul made bare bank. Bare bank. Proper bank on that one. On that one. Um, and that's before you look at the advertising and stuff too on top of that. All right. Well, this sucks. I charity. feel bad. So I just want to thank everyone. It truly made a difference uh, that you came and supported. I'm just disappointed that I let everyone down. You know, I just made some strategically shitty decisions along the way and uh all of those decisions you know led to where we're at i think it was dumb of me to say that we weren't going to make the broadcast available for free uh, like we did the previous year i 
thought that that would bring in more pay-per-view buys because people would be like, oh, I'm not going to be able to watch it for free. Okay, this is unrelated to anything else that's going on on screen, but I have to show you this. This is a tier four uh, puzzle, if you guys recall. Kaya has been burning through it. She's literally doing it like too fast, I would say. I didn't realize that like she she apparently she fucking learned it very well and has been just absolutely ripping through the puzzle. Is that an ear of corn? Yes, it is. Kyanet coming online. Yeah. It's over. The takeover is real. Kyanet activated. Free? Well, I'll definitely uh, buy puzzle. so I can tune in. <laughs> But I, I don't know. It either didn't have an effect or backfired, and I'm trying to learn from it. This year, I have a lot on my plate, and, you know, I think my strategy going forward is to just be, uh, you know, completely candid with everything. Uh, again, it's hard. I would normally keep all of this shit to myself, but I, I got I to gotta express myself. I got to tell you guys what's up. Um, otherwise, I'm going to rot from the inside. But yeah, I, additionally, another thing that's, you know, been eating at me is that uh, someone is trying to take over Creator Clash. Um, I know that sounds like, a, I don't know, the plot of a video game or something, but it's, it's real. And uh, it's been taking up a lot of my time. So what? hopefully I don't have to talk about it in the future. But, uh, you know, if I do, uh, you guys are gonna hear about it on this channel if you're just coming across this video and you have no idea what this creator class shit is about um it's creator boxing and it's a lot of fun it's a lot of amateur boxers getting in there for the first time and giving it their all and there's a lot of heart and a lot of soul and a lot of grit that is on display and i think it's uh very much a worthwhile watch Donation links are also going to be in the description of this video as well. Uh, I'm trying to monetize as much as I can to make up for this loss. But, uh, yeah, it's it's hard. <laughs> There's a traitor in the Tojo clan. That's funny. Sure that means. That's a uh, Yakuza reference. Yakuza Zero reference. All right. Oh, we're back to regular programming. Yeah. Let's get to let's get to China. What we've China. been waiting on. Um, I've literally never seen someone stick around on your stream this long. I know you always talk shit about Australia constantly when they're not around, but to me they're built different. Actually, I'm not, I'm not here voluntarily. Um, yeah, he's at gunpoint. But I was gonna say Australia is one of the few places that doesn't catch as many strays on the Hasanabi broadcast. I shit on Australia 